Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today we are going to be surviving a hundred days in this post-apocalypse zombie survival world. Now, we're just going to start off by placing our camp. I don't know where would be a good place to put this to be honest. It should be like at the edge, so nothing gets us. But this will definitely be a good base location. Now, the moral of this game, you have to recruit survivors, build your base. That's all things that we have to do in this challenge is we have to upgrade our base to the most maximum capacity and to recruit as many survivors as possible while maintaining the most powerful military army and equipment you can find out there. All right, so we're just going to start off our first day to start our first wave. Now, the only weapon we have right now is a machete and to use the build tools and mainly we just need to focus on making money right now this is the only survivor we can recruit so let's go ahead and add our boy to our army oh there's another one coming up you can assign jobs to survivors but normally i don't really need one and they're gonna work on building this for me so i can finish defend my base and make it into the most epicest base ever All right now concerning the enemies and the hostile that will be threatening our base it will be the zombies down here they only give me machete to kill. As you can see, the zombies are making their way up to my base. However, I did not even see this path. Holy. I'm going to have to guard this off in the near future. So this challenge doesn't end when I die, but mainly when my base is destroyed. So we have to do everything in our power to defend our base. Alright, we successfully survived the night one. Although it wasn't a hard challenge, but we managed to do it. Now every night or a day, we can pick a reward for up to 150 money or survivor. Right now we don't really need any survivors, so we're just going to stack up our money and get our best equipment as possible. So they managed to upgrade my upgrade station as well, so I can research other items and better building defenses and also to buy better and good weapons. We can also buy armors in this game. There's also a shop in the game we can use to buy skulls, but unfortunately we're broke at the moment, so we're not going to be able to buy any of those. We also have food capacity that we are not uh, short of because we have 300 and it takes about three for each survivor um not including me because i am a warrior and a champion so we're pretty good for food right now and first off we're gonna build our base to start off making more money we're gonna get a mining post and put it right here we don't need them digging into the ground uh ruining the base operation um so i'm just gonna go ahead and finish building this all right so once that built i'm gonna go over here and assign both of my survivors that i have so far to the miners and make me some money by getting ores and stuff so we're just gonna finish building money and we should be good to go for now all right we've managed to clear day two and i noticed a problem so we have two entrances where the zombies could climb up to my base and get us so what i want to do is cut off this back part by simply mining all of this off so they have nowhere to climb before i do that i'm gonna go buy myself a weapon first from the research table which is the ak-47 we're gonna get up the sweet gun and we should be good to go we can fire from long range now and the good thing about it is it's infinite ammo so i think we're pretty good all right so we're on day seven and day six is kind of chaotic the zombies have like guns there was a giant zombie uh i thought i recorded it but apparently not so we're gonna have to do a lot of expansion also we have some breaking news guys so apparently if you dig around the zombies can literally like build up towards you which is kind of crazy i don't know how they did it but they managed to do it so we're gonna have to like put some extra defense wave seven and these guys really have guns i don't know who these military guys are but everything's getting crazy out here bro i don't i don't even like know what to do we even really got zombies like walking into the walls because they don't know how to get up to my base which is very good in my opinion my guards are literally doing nothing but i think i think we should be able to get through to this wave so on day 17 i did manage to unlock the humvee car although i don't really know how i'm gonna drive this around since i'm at the top of the hill so right now i'm just gonna place it right here and yeah we got a brand new car yes, on day sir. 17 and i'm also gonna upgrade our research table to oh yeah we unlocked the motors as well but i haven't placed them as yet so we're just gonna research the mining production so we can get this whole dig all the way down to get some like crazy ore and stuff and like money also on day 17 this is what our military power is looking like we got four snipers up here along with three extra snipers on this side five motor men we got the flamethrower down there with a shotgun and two uh medics on the scene we also got two guards defending our base because obviously we are not gonna let anything slip past us and we got our farmer making us like a ton of food pretty good that's how we're gonna keep all the people fed we also got our car and our base camps 
to recruit more survivors and yeah we're pretty much good to go i don't i haven't upgraded the base level to like maximum because i think it's just a waste of money since like nothing is getting past us on this hill to be honest so yeah i think we're, I think we're looking pretty good on the chance right now. i don't really have to do anything uh i do not know how that's not got inside of base but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and take care of it real quick yeah everything is like going smoothly the defense is like so perfect we got snipers motors they all get stuck in that like little hole right there to die, so I think I think we're pretty, doing pretty good. So keep in mind, I haven't even upgraded these yet, so like these guys are literally like base level, and our food is like doing surprisingly so well for only one farmer. But yeah, I'm gonna upgrade these guys to like I don't even think they do quick shot. They just do like motor upgrade. Actually, they only have one upgrade. That's actually crazy. Can't even upgrade the other one. But it's a thousand and fifty, and that money is like not easy to get. So I kind of understand it. So we're just going to max out our snipers and yeah, we are good to go. All we have to do is expand our base and recruit more survivors and we're literally like set for the entire game and literally like expand this base. It's been a while since I gave you guys an update, so here it is. I covered the entire uh, battlefield with landmines, all those yellow dots, those are explosives. We've upgraded the military power uh, pretty nice. Uh, we haven't done much around here, but in the back, we have done some progress. Actually, not increased too many houses. We added another farm field, which is nice, and upgraded the back platform. Pretty cool. We've uh, also defended up the main camp by putting like a bunch of metal steel around it. I like these little windows, so I can assign the job thingy. It is pretty good. Um, I think pretty much I plan to add some extra stuff in the band here back here as well and that should be pretty much it my guys at the front they pretty much got it handled so that is day 39 for you guys pretty good day 51 i think it's looking pretty much the same uh we haven't really like expanded our territory except we added some motor men over on that side and some snipers below and i also added like a secret entrance in the back so like when i do my scavenger runs for survivors like a little ladder looks pretty cool but it's pretty like bland like nothing really much to add on and i guess i could get like creative and like build a house or something or like some type of sky base but not really in the mood for that but yeah we are holding up pretty strong i'm not gonna lie our base is looking really really good all right a little update uh we are currently on like day 75 now and yeah there's nothing much new except that i covered like the entrance with like a bunch of spikes uh i fortified the house a bit because i figured out that some of the mobs were like getting in and like doing damage to the base which is really bad because like if we lose the base we're basically dead uh i have some more snipers on this side and yeah i had some snipers down there as well but the main thing that i built so far was a motor base on the other side so that they can kill all the monsters at the back but other than that we're just we're pretty good we're just waiting for day 100 and yeah that'll be the end of it it is day 90 and since we've got so many survivors what better way to put them to use than to place a bunch of motor motor units i don't even know if this is okay like generally i i feel like the villain right now but these are zombies so you can say yeah day day 90 is looking pretty good we're pretty stacked on motor units um i should probably use some snipers over here <laughs> if i'm being honest because that tower is literally full of motors i'm not gonna lie oh i forgot to upgrade them as well and we still have extra oh wait yeah that's the limit um i'll upgrade these guys and then i'll go over here to upgrade all of the all the units right so every single one of them is upgraded now i'm not gonna lie this is looking like some type of korean army but you know what it's my army so it's it's all good um the battlefield is pretty fortified with spikes as well so we're pretty good on that also i also built something up there i don't know why i repeated that word but i just did and so voila at the back of the base we managed to build something a little temple area um unfortunately there is no temple i only built stairs with you know like some decorations and some lights it's not really finished but uh it's something it's, you know to keep us motivated to go to day 100 um one thing i haven't built so far in over 90 days is the lumberjack 
the reason why is because like it's such a huge feel i don't know where to put it all right i know there's only one tree here but like this is the only good spot that i want to put it that i can see it from my base so i'll just put this right here and finish repairing this maybe assign like two workers on the side to see like what's gonna happen and i'm pretty sure i don't really need money right now because i was at like a million dollars before but now i'm just at 915k because i like spent so much money on like military and yeah a bunch of like defenses all right so the wood cutting people actually only cut down trees um and there's only one in this vicinity so i lucky wish i could help him out to see like what he does next but my guy's like taking forever so i don't even think he's any useful so we're just gonna probably like execute him all right so it is day 94 and not gonna lie we are looking pretty good i have not made any progress to the base whatsoever i've basically been surviving bro because like the zombies have literally been coming up to the entire base like right up to the entrance of the camp also i put some lights down here to like a little walkway to like the little lumberjack thingy although we don't really need that um pretty stacked though i'm not gonna lie we do have a flamethrower now although i never really use this thing i could like burn down my base but i'm not gonna do that all right it is officially day 99 we are so close to day 100 guys only one more day away uh right now all i'm gonna be doing is fortifying the field and i also built like a little watchtower i'll show you guys soon uh to like see like the epic final battle that is about to take place but for right now i'm just gonna continue placing these spikes as we are preparing for day 100 i think something crazy might spawn i'm not sure probably not but don't get your hopes up before i finish this uh spike field i noticed the trader is back so i'm gonna go over ahead and see what i can buy from him before i am finished with this game uh please do not disappear all right thank you all right so he's actually selling a sniper we don't really need that i still have no idea what this guy does he does have a crossbow on the back of him though but we don't really need a crossbow if you have guys with guns a uh, rifle with a pink job and a nasty surprise you know what i'll take it you know i don't really need anything else besides hmm, maybe i'll buy the rifle as well let's see how much damage it does so we got two two new weapons uh we can buy them well yeah buy them at the shop all right so day 99 has officially started and this is my watchtower um not very watchtower, but it's like a good viewpoint of the battlefield because you know I am the king and this is my base. Not gonna lie, it's getting pretty laggy. I think I'm gonna disable the grass. Hopefully that helps. But yeah, there's like so much going on. There's like so many explosives since I have like a bunch of motors over there. Uh, I didn't get to buy the new guns though, so I'm gonna probably do that right now. So here's the 8, eight that I got. It's a good real sound. So the sniper's not even good. You know, for it being like a secret weapon, I expect to like one shot these guys, but apparently it's not doing that. Alright guys, so we've officially made it to day 100. Holy, this has actually been like one hell of like a long video, I'm not gonna lie. I've been playing this for at least like 10 hours, I'm not gonna lie. But damn, let's go place our last line of defense for wave 100. Because I had some bodies here, but apparently they died, and I do not know how that happened. Apparently, uh someone was not supervising them so yes, there's that they didn't bother to upgrade them either but yeah i've really been playing this game solo this Ready? entire yes, time sir. even though this game was like meant to be yes. played like with a party so this is, yes, this is one crazy game i'm not gonna lie let's take a look at the base for day 100 so we have our military defense so many snipers motors we have snipers down there we also have snipers in the back we didn't see those we have a bunch of spike defense guys because they they literally like roam the base and if we can't like stop them they're literally dead there's so many houses for the survivors to increase our military power we also built a watchtower um i have no idea what that is but it's something we also have our house our camp with our two survivors inside i do not know who this is but this guy's chilling he brought a boombox so we're letting him crash um we also have our two valued farmers keeping our workers fed they have no names sadly and the watch guards to watch over our camp and we also have my nice sweet humby and me obviously keeping this camp running and flowing to its maximum potential we also have our secret ladder down there you know this base is pretty good i'm not gonna lie i also like would have digged like a giant circle around this entire hill but that would have probably taken too long and i don't think like the units will be able to kill them but we also have our motor team on the other side of the map we can't forget about these guys man these are the korean champions they're literally keeping us strong i don't know what to tell you oh we also have this mine um yeah i have no idea what 
here. Uh, we don't even have any money for plants. And it's really breaking. But yeah, we also have our two medics and the one I recently placed down there. Oh, and also like a brand new team of snipers. Pretty cool, pretty amazing. Uh, yeah, uh, this was this was really, really an adventure, I'm not gonna lie. And we also have the lumberjack field over there. Um, I literally been recording this video so long, I'm starting to lose my voice. But yeah, we are about to be on day 100. So let's go straight to it. Man, what a journey has this been. I'm not gonna lie. I'm looking kind of hype, but at the same time, very draining. If you made it this far into the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this i would really appreciate it uh i think wave 100 might be bugged i think wave 100 might actually be bugged that is crazy enemy destroyed huh? wow uh it was so apparently we survived 100 days in this zombie apocalypse world let's go this was this was something i'm not gonna lie um yeah thank you guys so much for watching the video make sure to leave a like and see you later